the first film I watched as a kid was Star Wars and that really got me interested in films. Um, from that I sort of grew an interest in how the films were made, so behind the camera, the effects, stuff like that. Um, then at university I, I started studying a business studies degree um, and after a year I decided it wasn't for me so I switched to film and media studies. Uh, after university I saved up to buy some equipment and started making my own films, entering online competitions. Um, from that I sort of realised I needed to meet other people and get involved with projects and get other people to help me out. We, we, we set up the group through um, social media, so uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo. Um, basically I started off by searching for local people who were interested in filmmaking and uh, approaching them to see if they were interested in um, joining our social network and um, from there we then invited them to the meetings. Um, the first ever film uh, uh, we made was a, um, a full length um, zombie movie <laughs> and it took four and a half years to create um, and uh, it was quite, quite a lot of fun, it's called The Veil. It was out in 2005, um, unfortunately we had uh, problems with the um, contract and all that so uh, we lost some money there uh, but it was uh, distributed and you can buy it on Amazon now. <laughs> yeah, basically we, um, for the group we, we wanted to create some projects so um, Richard had a, had a few ideas on starting a feature film project which would be um, quite difficult and uh, it would be a big project to start. I thought it would be a really good idea to involve the whole group uh, with a single project and have a, a clear aim for uh, the group and, um, and something to appeal to people straight away on the website and you'd see um, this is uh, the group's goal and um, we're going to produce a feature film and it's quite, I think, prestigious when, uh, when it be finished and when we... Uh, uh, start getting it to festivals and that. Um, John came to one of our meetings and gave a talk about moving image and the possibilities of us sharing films um, with moving image. Um, he also talked about um, the cinema tent they run at the Wivenhoe Festival um, and if any of our members wanted to screen their films, um, I think we had about four or five members showing their films there. Um, and in the future, I think John's hoping to um, work with us and create a link up. We recently uh, went to a Colchester Film meeting and were very excited um, uh, and impressed by the proposal, the challenge that um, filmmakers have set themselves to try and make a feature film in the next year. Uh, and of course we were extremely interested in the idea that as a, as a pop-up cinema that shows feature films, we'd be um, able to show that, maybe to premiere that. We started on the idea for the feature film project about a month ago. Um, so far Richard's been running writers meetings to develop an idea and develop some treatments for the film. Um, before that we had a, a group vote um, to narrow down the film to a genre to make it a bit easier to develop a, a script um, and the group voted on sci-fi film which uh, should be interesting <laughs> in Colchester, but, um, should be a challenge as well. The challenge of making a feature film um, in a year um, put together by a group of independent filmmakers I think is a very substantial one, I, I think it's extremely ambitious. Uh, what I was very impressed by with uh, Colchester Film was the range of interests and the range of uh, skills available. Uh, it seemed clear that there were um, not only um, film directors but script writers, um, people who'd got uh, skills in audio, music, um, makeup, um, costume, location, production. Uh, so, I mean, that's what you need. It's uh, making a feature film isn't just about having a director and some actors. It's about putting the whole package together. As long as you've got um, um, a script that's focused on good location, if you find a good location, and we have. Um, um, uh, good actor, we have a solid chance of uh, making a feature film. We've got enough equipment, I believe, and we've got enough talent backing behind us. It's just people's willpower and determination to see us through. Mm -hmm.